Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with another layout using the June kits. This one came together pretty quickly. I started the background with a piece of 12 by 12 watercolor paper and I matted my photo on a little bit of vellum just to give it some lightness. And then I picked a bunch of papers from the Atlas um, collection that came in the kit and I used both sides of most of those. And I've just put together some some layers here that I'm trimming up a little bit just to get them a little more square, I cut them pretty roughly. So luckily some of these papers have lines on them to, to guide you in cutting them. I really love that. That anchor paper is actually from the Fancy Pants paper that came in the kit. And then this little strip of yellow is from the Crate Paper Poolside collection. And I've just cut it with a little scallop border punch just to add a little bit of yellow to the to the bottom because I, I just like the way it looked with everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get my layers down. And I'm just using a little bit of hot glue. I got, well, I didn't get a new glue, but I actually had this glue gun and it works a lot, a lot better than the other one I had. The other one I had just was, I think, too big. Too much glue came out and it was way too hot. But I really like using a glue gun or glue sticks or no glue gun yeah on um, on certain parts of layouts because it gives it a little bit of dimension without using a bunch of foam so I just really like to use the glue gun so I'm just like I said putting those layers together and I was thinking I was looking at I had taken a picture of I had put it all together and then taken a picture so I could reference that back which is a really good idea to do especially if you make videos because it kind of saves a little bit of time but everyone can still see the process it just and it saves on editing too <laughs> I just love the way all these papers go together I feel like it's almost you almost get like three kits within this one because you have like sort of the travel themed stuff that you can use and then you have the bright you know, fun summery colors that you can use, and then you can combine them, and it looks really, they look really nice together. So I kind of did that with this one, combine the sort of travel-y papers with the kind of bright beachy ones. I don't know, I just, I really like that about it. So I cut some photo corners out of that same Atlas diagonal stripe paper, um, one in each color. So there's like a navy, a lighter blue, a pink, and then that kind of orangey green color, just to kind of tie all the colors together and also it looked a little bit um the background needed something and I could have used like watercolor or something but it just was kind of plain I just really like the way this looked it's still in I do use a lot of embellishments on this layout but I feel like it still is you know more of a plain layout for me because it doesn't have any ink on it and usually all my layouts have ink on them but I did really like the way that it turned out so I'm going to use several different or a couple different tags. I'm going to from the um, I believe they're fancy pants also. Some are craft, some and then some are colored. And just so you know, because I've had questions before where I've used something that wasn't in the main kit. I have the main kit, the embellishment add-on, and the project life kit, and I just combine them all in a box. So sometimes I don't remember exactly which one of the three kits that it came from but a lot of the things if you don't have that particular embellishment for instance these particular tags you could use any tags that you have in your stash so these are some thickers from the poolside line and that good times was all one word but I wanted it to fit across that piece of anchor paper and it worked out perfectly because I had already cut it in half thinking I was going to use it on a different layout, but I didn't. So it was just perfect that it fit right across there. And I like the way the G hangs down. So I'm going to add this little camera and I'm going to use some foam on one side of it because I have all those layers of paper underneath it. And then just use some regular glue on the part that goes over the photo. And I believe that is from the 6x12 poolside sticker sheet but if you don't have that which I think came in the project life kit there's also a camera in the 
ephemera pack that does come with the main kit and it has some pink tones and some glitter on it which I thought about using and I think I even held it over this one a couple of times because I I thought I might use that one to bring in some more of that some more of that pink but this is the one that I ended up using so my title is it's gonna say good times exploring together is the full title but I'm using these thickers that come in the main kit and they are a nice navy color and there are uppercase and lowercase letters so I think that's really fun and you get there's a whole heap of letters in there so this is a sticker from the sticker sheet and I'm just it has this little kind of like travel pattern on it and I'm just cutting it kind of along the the pattern so that it doesn't just have straight edges I needed you see that little awkward space down there underneath the scallop and where the paper layers meet up I needed something to fill that little awkward space the only problem with this, and I didn't realize it until I was photographing the layout, is the exploring you can read perfectly because it's on those lighter papers, but the word together is a little bit, it's just not as clear because it's kind of navy on navy. So, you know, sometimes you don't realize things like that because you know what the title says, so you don't even have to like think about it, but if it's you have to be mindful of if other people can read it if they don't know what the title is and I wasn't really thinking about that so I thought I was recording but my camera had the battery had died so what I did is I added that little flower on the left hand side by the word exploring I added that wood menu that says destination at the top or I might not have added it yet I might have just laid it up there and that little pink word down there that says um, so happy or something like that came from the ephemera pack that there's a kind of a gradient of those from red to pink and I just used the pink one and then I layered some of the ephemera on the left hand side one is a tag and one is like a, just a little piece of ephemera I just cut them in half so I can use them on another layout so and then I also added from Evalicious it's like a compass wood veneer into the middle of that camera but what's funny about that is I was trying to orientate it so it was you know north south east west um, or north, east, southwest, and I remember that from never eat sour watermelon. <laughs> Anyways, but mine, I guess when they burned it into the, or, you know, etched it or however they make wood veneer, it's, it's opposite. It's like a mirror reflection. So, like, the N is backwards, the E is backwards. It doesn't, like, but it doesn't, that's okay. It doesn't really matter to go in the center there, but I just thought that was kind of funny. So I'm using this is also from the ephemera pack. It's a little like acetate circle that says August. And this is a um, picture of the Golden Gate Bridge that I took on our honeymoon. I think I've scrapped this picture before, but it was totally different looking. And I just really, really liked it. And I thought the colors would be great with this. And I just wanted to do it again. So I had a couple little wood veneer in the on the bottom there. And then I believe I'm going to add... One more thing that's from the, that pack of embellishments that's, it's kind of like a, a die cut and a brad at the same time. So I'm going to add that right underneath that little pink tag or word strip. And that is going to finish up this layout. So thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you like this process video and there'll be some close up pictures coming up soon. And I'm loving seeing all of the layouts y'all are posting in the Facebook group. They are just awesome. Y'all are really, really talented, and I love seeing everyone's take on the same kit. So, anyways, if you're a new subscriber or you're thinking about subscribing, then I'm going to have a link below for a coupon code that you get a free pattern paper add-on when you subscribe. So, I hope you'll take advantage of that little offer, and I will see you guys again real soon. Here are the close-ups. Bye!